is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hey, are you going to unmute or? <laughs> Hi, I'm Bran and I love Hallmark mystery time travel things. Hey, it's Panda, and I like mystery movie time travel things. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark mystery my time travel things. <laughs> and this is it's the, the Deck Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. By popular demand people were clamoring mm-hmm. guys what are your sequel to kate and leopold <laughs> they are, were clamoring <laughs> what are your thoughts on the nile mater time travel flick and who are we to turn down what the people want now, there were a lot of people also, clamoring for a movie earlier this year that we never did well we never had time and for so that. we we are the people that who are we we're the people that turned them down well and now we said yes but also time nile mater time travel but also Toy we didn't DeVito. have a new movie this week it worked out Everything worked out swimming. And no wind calls a heart this week. So the the winds just keep on coming. So I know a lot of people uh, maybe tuned in today on a Tuesday knowing we're heading into summer nights and they're like, where's the summer nights preview show? Have no fear, everybody. I know it's normally it's the big dog episode. It's the big week. dog episode because it because can I be Why honest? Why wouldn't it be? It should be. Yeah, that's what the people are here for. Uh, Thursday, everybody. Thursday. Thursday. In lieu of wind calls the hearts, but you're gonna like Tuesday, Wednesday. You're gonna like it. Yeah. Tomorrow you got. Chris Our boy Palaha. Palaha. Yeah, and things get saucy. out of hand. Did you edit that a little? Not yet. Okay. I mean, it will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By okay. the time it comes yeah, out, yeah, yeah, of course. It gets saucy though, and that's stuff that that's the reason to sign up for Bramble Jam Plus. That's right. Uh, you heard the at the saucy. at the double decker or yeah. the all access tier, you can watch these interviews live. That's right. And those are unedited, full sauce. Yeah, full sauce, full sauce. indeed. Did uh, you guys have a good Memorial Day? Oh, it was great. Best really one good? yet. Best one yet. Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. Man, great. Got out of hand, but it was well, great. Well, yeah. I mean, the best ones do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I was going to, um, if I may, go back to Bramble Gen Plus. Sure. Because I wasn't then talking about, uh, what about the, Bramble Fest? all the pluses that you get. Yeah. Yeah. Bramble Fest. Great. Bramble, Bramble Fest. DeckTheHomework.com slash fest. You can buy your tickets now. Oh, Andrew yeah. Walker and Nikki DeLoach are going to be there. More special guests. Maybe. Why not? Uh, right here in yeah, that Greenville. So many reasons to, to come. But there's also a virtual ticket. If that tickles your fancy, you can do that as well. Um, but we started a new thing, Dano. Uh, take it to the oh, tape. Oh, man. Uh, audio commentary tracks you can listen to along. Sync it up to a movie. The first one we did was Top Gun. Uh, Dan and I had never seen it. We had a blast. So much fun. We had a blast. And you can buy those individual tracks at take the tape.com or you can get them all this one and the rest that are going to be coming out in the future for uh, eternity um, for eternity at the all access at the tier. all access that's tier. Exactly that's exactly right, exactly so however you right. want to do it that's the way that you can do it uh next movie dan what do we have what's we, the next uh, movie I, I, are we doing empire records is that what we decided i don't did well, how, how did that happen the sandlot was winning in the vote i've seen the sandlot a thousand times i've never seen it you've never seen the sandlot i know i've seen clips but i've never seen the full movie you're kidding me oh what is can wow. we even do this show anymore? <laughs> That's shocking. What do we need to take like a tent? Do we need to take a quick five? Take a, I hadn't seen what was the second second uh, place movie? Uh, was a movie I hadn't seen. The uh, Sandlot. I was like, there's no way I could watch that again and do a comment because it's actually a great movie. Yeah. Sure. I don't want to make fun of a like a mint. Oh, no, should you? I, but like eventually we will do High School Musical, which I have seen a hundred times and you haven't seen. But, that's but not I can talk movie. about that all day long. Like yeah. that's not an actually. It's a good like you have fun. All right, never mind. Don't uphill battle. There's a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of things you could the, say about the that. The next funny. place movie is Mannequin, which I've never heard of. Never heard of. Or and seen. then after that is Field of Dreams, which I've never seen. Which is a movie that I love, but would be a great. I feel like we should do. Tank. I feel like that should be our next movie because of um. It didn't. Was his name just passed away? Uh, Ray, uh, Ray Liotta. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we should do that movie next. Dude, this it's, week. A, it's gonna be a fun commentary. Okay. That's what we're doing it. this week. It. Keep an eye out for that. If you build it, they will come. That's that, a line. Okay. That is in the movie. What are we building? Baseball field. Oh, in a, really? In a cornfield. I will say they did that thing in the the Badger League baseball. The Badger um, League baseball. Is that <laughs> um, Badger? Are you saying Badger? With no, the long Badger league. league. It's Badger where you league. and your bay go <laughs> yeah. and you just hang out like just for the entire time. Badger baseball would be fun, but not as much fun as Badger League. Badger oh, League. I love it. Um, Major League. They did the they they made the Field of Dreams. Uh, they did it at the thing yeah, or whatever. The, was that last corn. year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ago, and then they walked out of the cornfield. It looked cool. It well, it did. The Yankees looked were there. Real they cool. lost in a. I I didn't yeah. know anything about it, but I I can you know it's like when they do the the hockey outside. It's like this is this obviously is cool. awesome. Yeah, winter classic. Yeah. Hey, do you guys yeah. ever get nervous around cornfields? Every no. day of my life. I will say this: 
after I watched Signs for the first time. Right? Right. Corn's had a little, Cornfield's had a little there different. Signs would be an, there are movies we can dude, do signs, that we've seen yes. that would still be really but fun. Like, the Sailor would be tough. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, I just have nothing but heart and love for that movie. Sure. I, I can imagine some people felt that way about me just kind of dismantling Top Gun. Yeah. But Top Gun has three songs played for two hours. I don't know what you want from me. I saw Maverick and I loved it. We so, should also yeah. do a Take It to the CD where we go <laughs> and we listen to Christian music. But we uh, have to do it on compact disc? Well, you could do it that way too. But has, anyone ever, Christian CDs. has anyone ever done an audio commentary on an music. album? You sync it to, to the album? That's tough, man. I think you should do it. Because depending on which service you use, your, your time between songs would be that's different. That's true. be very tough. That's unless true. you just did individual tracks. I that's think true. that's how you do it. Take oh, it to the Curtis CD. Chapman. We just do all those. Oh, my gosh. Just Try bunker in stop. for the next three months. Get it done. <laughs> bunker in, everybody. Take it to the Chapman. I, the Chapman. Here, here's, the thing <laughs> about, here's the thing about Chapman, though. Is Chapman is all, all rise, heavy decline. Heavy fall. But, like, where oh, do you think the heavy fall is, my this, friend? Imagine this. You get a phone call from, from Regis. Regis. Nope. That is the dive. All as rise, As soon as that friend. song happens, he never makes another good one. I, I'll, uh, yeah, that's right. Never After makes that another song. good one. That's After not that true. Song. That's not true. There's, there, there's, songs, there's, down, there's down years, and then the last few years have been really good. I've not heard anything the last few years. There have been some big pops. To big be, pops. To be fair, I've not heard anything the last few years. I will grant you that. Dude, we got to watch the, the Christian musical on Netflix. Man, so oh, many things we got to yeah, do. Yeah, take to the tape. Week away. Man, tape don't lie. Yeah, I said it, buddy. Um, are we talking about ripping time? Yeah, Let's we sure are. <laughs> this is good, though. This is this fun. This is really good. Um, it was productive talk. I, I, I was going back over my notes for ripping time, and for a movie that has a lot of explanation, it wasn't as long as I thought. Maybe just because they're just kind of like hanging out. I just wanted huh. to preface that. We'll see how hanging long this goes. Hanging out Down in a different time, time era. era. Uh, Rip Van Winkle. Ju- junior, Junior. His son. Woke it, woke, woke up in <laughs> a cave. A lightning strike. I should have stopped while. You, you really yeah. <laughs> it originally aired on um, the 22nd, I believe. Sure. May 22nd. Uh, and it went a little something like this. Uh, movie kicks off with a real neat title card. Can I say that? It was mm-hmm. neat. It was neat. Yeah. I, I was like coming through the stars, doing stuff. Uh, there's a farm family working on the farm as farmers do. We are farmers. <laughs> what do they do? Farmers insurance? Is that it? Yeah, it's insurance. For just farmers? They do it for everybody. It's like USA. They started with yeah. farmers. They, they started, started with farmers. With farmers. Yeah, yeah. Farmers only. Dot com. That's a dating service. Yes. Dating service. But Not can, insurance. But can only farmers go only on? Only farmers on there. Yeah. If you pretend to be a farmer, they'll know it. Oh, they'll they kick know you real off. quick. Panda but tried it. How, uh, it was awful. How do you even define a farm? Like, what are the qualifications? You have a farm, Bran. I, God, I you see, and this was the problem because like, I was trying with just a tomato plant. Yeah, what about a garden? Can a garden? Can no. a garden? You gotta have fields. They, but they know plows and hoes, all of it. They, they, they called you me. Say yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you did it. Um, so the farm family consists of Sarah, plain and tall, um, <laughs> her son Henry, wow. uh, and uh, her dad, uh, who's a just a surly fella. Um, Henry is uh, in the barn and gets startled by a grown man in a garb that I would only qualify as old. Yes. Old garb. Old garb. Revolutionary. Yeah, revolutionary. But it's sure. not like revolutionary, but like revolutionary. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying. So he goes to tell his mom, and Sarah goes in there with a gun. The dude starts questioning why she's wearing pants and whatnot. As you do. Yeah. And I think, can we, uh, they bring him some food, ask him his name, and he says, I can only remember Rip, um, but can't remember his last name. Can't can't remember Van Winkle. It's easy to forget Van yeah, Winkle. Yeah, Van Winkle. It's easy to forget a Van Winkle. You think Travis ever does? You cannot replace a Gary Bertier. No. To remember the Titans records. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Where'd that come from? I don't know. 
It's easy to forget <laughs> Van Winkle. So you, you got cannot easy replace to forget the re- to the remember. Way I said it, I believe. It, okay. it was, it's just me. It's just me over here. You can't replace him. That's exactly right. Can't replace the Gary Bertier. Uh, left side. It's because you side. did left side, strong side there earlier. That's what it was. I almost always do. <laughs> um, I remember the Titans <laughs> reference. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that movie. No, have you not? have you not? Oh, I have. I've seen it two times. Oh or my three gosh! Times. Okay. But not enough for me to ever quote it. Like, gosh. like, uh, yeah. uh, uh, football. football. Go win, Titans. It's good. That was a good one. We're going to state. <laughs> Anybody? Um, so anywho, he, um, he says he like, he thinks he hit his head. He doesn't remember where he came from, all this stuff. So they call the police and a deputy comes to check him out, but also check her out. If you know what I mean? He likes her is what I'm trying to get at there. And he goes to question him. He's clearly in a Sarah. It's a whole thing. Uh, Rip goes to the hospital, has dreams that are like flashbacks um, not really sure what what's going on. They end up like doing like X-rays and all this stuff, and eventually they see like a bullet, and so they take the bullet out, I guess. And it's like an old Revolutionary War bullet. They're like, and you yes. can't can't fake this. No. So either this guy, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 really committed to the bit, which I can appreciate. I was hoping that that's what happened. He's like, I'm gonna fool everybody. Yeah. So, um. He's having a hard time. He ends up uh, remembering basically the whole story, like his past, who he is, his who his dad is. His dad was, dad was drunk. It's a whole thing. And he thinks he knows, like he remembers where he was, went to the cave during the storm, blah, blah, blah. And so because of the bullet and this whole thing, they end up going to this uh, a physicist. Is that what you would say? Yeah. And basically, he does the whole. That he yeah. does the whole. He's like, this is absolutely no problem with this at all. Classic wormhole. This is bit. classic wormhole. Let's fold this boy, poke through, yep. lightning strike. Uh, we need the whole thing. And they're basically like, can he go back in time? And he's like, well, theoretically, sure. Another lightning strike. Uh, lightning strike. You can say, but what do you do? Lightning crashes. An old, an old mother. mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So physics, boys, is what yeah. we're trying to say. Yeah. Uh, their band name is just live. Live. What? Right. A, who? Do, whose idea was that? So um, he's having a lot, a lot of fun. They end up going to a festival. I'm sure we'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, there's dancing. It's a whole thing. The the copper uh, is looking on constantly and is like real like upset basically because he's totally into Sarah, and so um, he's like uh, uh, Rip is pretty much down down to clown. Wants to stay, but one day it's raining. They end up kissing in the rain it's a whole thing mm. and uh he goes back to his place the copper was looking on saw that kiss it was like over my dead body goes in there talks to rip and is like i know what you're up to you're you're a you're a swindler you're a, you're 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 up to no good you're, a mean one. you're, you're that's exactly right you're gonna Mr. get rip. these people and then you're just gonna leave and you're gonna take everything it's a whole thing and um and if you stay, you're everyone. You're the laughing stock of the town. Everybody's talking about how dumb Sarah is. It's a whole thing. And so he's like, "It's better if I just leave. It's better if I just leave." So he um, leaves a note saying, "You know, going back to where I came from. You're you're the, you're the best. Uh, have a great summer." And uh, goes, "Hags, <laughs> uh, hags. So Sign your crack. It's a whole thing." And uh, <laughs> uh, goes back. That one. Goes back up into the the cave. And he's waiting for the old strike. He writes down basically in his journal all about his love, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Sarah gets a note. It's raining some more. The rain budget on this movie, astronomical, I can only imagine. Um, Stop singing it. And uh, goes back up into the woods, finds him at the cave, and basically talks him into staying. They walk out. He's like, "Uh uh-oh, I left my journal thing. Um, I think lightning strikes. Lightning crashes. And... um, we see that the dad, uh, his Rip dad, Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle, the journal went back to, to the, the future, future. <laughs> and to the past. And his dad's reading and he's reading about how his son loves a woman and how he wishes that his uh, dad could know this. He does. Um, and we're all happy for that. And uh, Rip is going to Rip's going to hang around and we're all going to be better for it. And that cop can go kick rocks. And that, my friends, was Rip, Rip in time. time. We did it. That's exactly right. We did it. Um, let's take a break. Mm. Okay. Pump the brakes a second. Pump the, 
Pump the brakes. Somebody's got to find a doctor virtually, right? Next week. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll have a fun time doing that. We'll be right back here on Dick Dahmer. Wowzers, we're back. What a oh, great break. Mm, what a so great break. Uh, so great. We're talking about Rip and Time, the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries classic of a week ago. And I'm really excited to break it down for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with the hot tech segment, and I'm going to start with Panda. Panda, you wore red today. And I, I could only Scalding. The, the only mm -hmm. thing that I can assume is that you have some red hot takes oh, I got to bring to the takes. table today. So pull up a chair, everybody. Get ready. Brace yourself. Spicy. Here comes Panda's hot take. Guys, let me tell you about this movie real quick. I hope you do. <laughs> Not only is this... One of the best movies we've seen on Hallmark this year. Oh, wow. Here it oh, goes. Boy. Oh, boy. This is one of the best Hallmark movies that has ever been made. And it's not even close. Uh, it is delightful. Uh, it's not the best. Uh, so, right. But is it that... But what do you mean? Around. Around. So every time yeah. you but what do you mean when you say it's one of the best and it's not even close? Yeah, it's not even close. Like, one what? of the best... That's ever been made, and it's not even close. Not even what close. is it not close it's to? It's not up for debate. What is it not uh, close? It's not okay. even what up is for one debate? of the best? Like top what? It's top, not. I would say top ten. So it's, and it's and not that's even close. not even close. So it's way into the it, top ten. Yeah, it, it, it could be five, six. Oh, it's delightful, but it's not even so close. Take. So does that mean that the gap in between wherever it lands, let's that's say right. it lands yeah, yeah, six yeah. and seven, problem, is astronomical? No, no, no. Uh, like it, the gap between this and any other yearly Hallmark movie. The problem this is, is Panda, delightful. And you're starting to realize this is if you say it's not even close and you're not talking about the thing at the top, it becomes very weird. <laughs> no, it's not even close. It's not even close. <laughs> I don't and, know what to tell you. Like if I say, when I, I remember Unexpected Christmas, it's the best movie, Chris, Hallmark Christmas movie I've ever seen. Not even close. Mm -hmm. Okay. That means there's a gap between that and everything else. Yep. Tyler Hines, just the best, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you say it's one of the best, one of the best and then not say even it's not even close. It's not even close. At some point, you're drawing a line between this movie and the group that it's in and a giant gap <laughs> between every, that and everything else. So we, I just need to know what that line is. It's not even I, close. I think you're worrying about lines <laughs> too much. And I would just say, <laughs> don't what? even worry about The red shirt did not it. disappoint. Yep. He's like, it's not even close. It's not Sunday. even close. I, mean, I don't know what you're offering. Yep. Delivering. Yeah. Uh, I think Panda's right, and it's not even close. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, great movie. Really, really fun. Um, and I, I think the thing that is like, you guys know me and what I always want out of Hallmark time travel movies, which is for the bit to keep on, oh, keep on, on. And I, f I thought that Niall did a great job. They kept going back to the well of him being surprised by things. Yep. And that, that always yep. works for me 100% of the time. Um, and it's not even close. And um, I thought Niall was really Wonderful. great in this movie. This is the best I've ever seen Niall. <laughs> yeah. Best I've ever seen Niall. Best I've ever seen Niall. And I thought I really, the chemistry, uh, the chemistry was there, and the kiss was mm. hot and heavy. Mwah. Man, and I tell you what, it will get to in the field. Um, but the, well, so much to love about this movie, and uh, you you know you can get me going real good with a quick wormhole and um, and a good day, and that's exactly what this was. Uh, it's not even close, Dan. A quick wormhole and a good day. That's exactly um, right. Yeah, this movie does a lot right. I I, I didn't not nothing about it like sparked me to really like get invested and love it but it does a lot right like it takes time travel and it actually commits to that conceit mm -hmm. um which is fun it commits to the idea of what time travel they're using wormhole instead mm -hmm. of like alternate or multiple timelines it uses a literary reference well and then you guys have already said this niall mater is a revelation I, i've never used mm -hmm. that word but comparatively to everything i've ever seen him in he hard on his sleeve. Not listen, not country at heart. Okay, but we interviewed Nile, wonderful dude, dry sense of humor, love him. When we when I watch his movies, it's like Nile's just out there being Nile. He's just showing up. He's just being very like vulnerable and there and like looking people in the eye, and that's about all there is to it. This, from what we normally get with him to what we get in Rip and Time, it's a revelation for him. Tori Devito is great. Yeah. Um, so everybody scores in this movie. I don't think it would it would ever make any list of my top anything. Can I ask um, you this about this one, though? It, and, and it's probably because nothing really, aside from the fact that they nailed the time travel thing, 
nothing really stood out as like a big moment. There was a great kiss in the movie, mm -hmm. but like I don't have any, I barely have any weight what's. I've got mm -hmm. four weight what's. Wow. Um, it's more than I, I have. I've got, I, the, I, I felt like there wasn't a lot to it, but they didn't do anything wrong. Like I felt like it stayed pretty consistent. The performances are good. Nominator is great. And Tori DeVito's great. And, and the, they actually dealt with time travel like it was a real thing. Well, and so I was on board. If you want to juxtapose this movie next to Timeless Christmas, sure, which is the closest oh. example we have of this, where they oh abandon the premise of time travel, that he is somebody in a new land very quickly. This, this is movie a is masterpiece. Uh, excellent. They do such a good job. And that was the thing that I was going and prepared. I was like, they're going to abandon this bit. He's going to be comfortable living in the 21st century in no time at all. This is what they do. But I'm trying to think of a better days. time travel movie, Hallmark. I can't. Next stop, Christmas. No. And this movie. I think this movie's probably a little bit better. Yeah, it's better yeah, than the next it stop, is. Christmas. I, I don't... I, this is probably... That is... And I, I don't know, know if I'd say it's not even close, but I would say that this if, is... If the, the ending of Next Stop Christmas is better, you know what, Next the, Stop Christmas is more enjoyable. The, it's ne more fun. the next best time travel movie that I've seen on Hallmark is actually Kim Journey Back to Christmas, yeah. Candace Cameron Bure. Yeah, you did it. I'm yep. serious. No, you're not Because I think classic. that's her best movie. Yep. Classic. And that's not even close. That's not even close. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think this is the best Hallmark time Dave, travel movie. Can I ask you this one, though? Yeah. In a hypothetical world where you um, are flipping through Left channels... Left side for me. When you're flipping through channels, hypothetically, yeah. if the, you ever were to do this hypothetically, again. if I was going to do that, yeah, and you're Just flipping through like channels, and you and you get, and you get to like the Hallmark Channel, and like you see the scene where Niles in the barn for the first time, the kid. Do you stop? Does it does it pique your interest at all? No, no, it doesn't. Now, knowing what I knew and knowing that was Niall Mater, I was glued. Yeah. In fact, that was as much. I looked. We were watching together, and when you see Niall for the first time, and he's you know throwing his hands everywhere and he's doing this. I was like, dude, Niall Mater came to play today. Like he is here. Yeah, he was he's giving up in, performance. Man. So yeah. that helped a little bit. Yeah. And I, you know, I always love a good uh, science uh, explanation where they poke the thing. Through I mean, the thing. how many oh times gosh, are we going to see the fold the paper? Poke it the, I mean, never like, disappoints. But it's how it works. Yeah. But you know what's wild is, is they did it in, like in Interstellar. They do it where he does the he folds the paper. I feel like there's a lot of movies where they Stranger do Things they do. It. I actually one. said it out loud. Yeah. We were watching. I said, "Oh, he's going to get the paper and fold it." <laughs> and sure enough, he did. He did that's it. What you and have it works. To do. That's yeah, well, that's it. the thing though. Like, it, is there a better illustration? I'd say no. Not for Wormhole. Slinky. You think the slinky's better? In How? what way? You take it, and right. you hear the sound of it compressing. I still think that that's not what's Just happening like in a wormhole at all. I don't think you understand the wormhole. The slinky's... No. The slinky it's is taking slinky. a line and curving it to make it shorter. If you curve a slinky, it's the same length. No. Yes. <laughs> it's a helpful. bad illustration. It's what, if you, what if you connect the two ends? Yeah, I know it's not how time works. You're not gonna, I'm not disagreeing with you there. <laughs> no, you just. But well, I need you to do. I need you to imagine a 2D slinky. A 2D slinky. And then you just. It's already if it's 2D. No, no, no. But then you could extend it out. Now it's 3D. No, no, no. Because it's not in. It, it's not that way. It's a but worse it's just, illustration than the paper. And, it, and I think we got that. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Uh, it's like a straw. Yeah, well, that's but then not you, bad. But then like you, the, the type that goes. Whoop, whoop. No, that's again. Why are you so fascinated by things because extending? It's long, but then it goes short. I but that's know, not. Like I'm that's not, not wormhole. That you know what two D and three D mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little concerned there as it's well. It's not even close. No, no, no. But like, when it's long, 3D, but then it goes short. Right. And the but people watching the, us on imagine YouTube, like paper, 2D. right? That's two D, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, but. Okay, but now imagine Paper's that Slinky 2D? is 2D. No. <laughs> and then you, you extend it out, and then you put it back But the together. thing about the if it, wormhole the illustration same. with the paper is it's two dots, yep. and then the paper folds, and then the pencil goes through. Boom. Wormhole. Right. I'm what saying so it, it, it doesn't have you anything. You don't have to shove anything through it's a worse. Slinky. No. <laughs> But it, you keep, you're so stuck on this ext this extending and but that's how time works. It's long, but then it goes short, boy, with a wormhole, and then pencil right through. It doesn't go. It doesn't go short, boy. It goes short, boy. No, it's not you short. Hop, you hop. You hop time. Yes, that's this. That's it's not a short amount of time. You're you're creating, but you're still alive. You're, 
if you lived that, you would not be alive anymore. You couldn't be. You'd be hundreds of years old. Okay. Oh my God. So you so shot you you short time. It's short and slinky. <laughs> and I did see them live. <laughs> How were they? They're okay. Yeah. I mean, you know. Not a lot. It's just kind of one note. Not a lot <laughs> yeah. of them. Two, two, two. Not um, a lot of nuance there. All the feels, Panda? Uh, okay, so a couple of them. First Give of all, me. when he shows up, Waylon, the little the guy who's sitting there who's a pompous like history guy, and he just shows him up, and it's like, you don't even know what you're doing. I love that just because uh, it gave me feels that he's, he's picking on the academic bully. I yeah. like that. That's yeah, just yeah. fun. Uh, I, I, that was a lot of fun for me. Uh, and then also... Uh, I got steamy feels when he sits there and he says, I'm a man of old fashioned principles. Oh. And he just, oh my mm. goodness. Yeah. That look when he said that, steamy. Love yeah. it. Was that during the kiss when he does that? When they kiss and Not he pulls during back. the kiss. No, it was. Well, not, they were. It's a, well, it's a kiss. It's a, it's a kiss. Pull back. Kisses, I'm a man. become an ogre? <laughs> No, he's kissing. Wow. But, but you would not sound with gravel in his did voice. Did you? No, know? but you could, not, you could not talk. Okay, this goes back to It's like a slinky. It's like a it's slinky. It's like a TV <laughs> slinky. Did you know that Mike Myers, the actor, not the killer, yep. originally did Shrek Canadian? And then, and then, and then no, he, it was his call. He said, can I try it Scottish? I think Scottish will sound more aggressive like an ogre. He, does wow. it, he did it one time, and uh, he decided he's going to re-record the whole thing on his own dime. Man, Mike Spiel, Myers. Steven Spielberg wrote him a letter and said it was the right call. Thanks Man. for doing it. And then he made the love guru. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have gone back to the board on that one. <laughs> you know, uh, I watched, uh, uh, I don't know who does it, but there's a, uh, you know, one of those channels on YouTube does a thing where they go through the, the movie history with the actor and he like talks. And that's how I found out about that thing. They didn't talk about the love guru. <laughs> Interesting. It's wild. Um, so the kiss for me, but I want to say this about the kiss. So, Dan, you can, you're my witness here. Yep. Uh, <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you for raising your hand. It's like a sling. Uh, yeah. So, um, they're together. It's raining outside. Okay? He, uh, I, I'm like, I want them to kiss in the rain. But I, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know how this, I don't know how yeah. you're going to yeah, get yeah, there. Yeah. And so then he, he leaves to walk out. And I'm like, he, he has to leave. And I get I start getting excited, but I'm like, surely not, surely. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And then she comes out, and they, boy, yeah. the whole the whole orchestration, because you can kind of you kind of feel it happening, and you don't know how they're gonna get there. And then they get there, and those are some big boy reigns too, big boy reigns. And so all of that, I mean, you never you listen a a a, a good day on the golf course is bad day. Bad, bad day is better than anywhere. A that's a good day when you're a, golfing. A bad kiss, on a course bad from kiss the in bad the bad kiss side. in the rain, better than a, a good, good kiss, kiss on the golf on course. the golf course. That's right, <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's we're trying. Get right. yeah, yeah, Dan? Yeah. yeah, the kiss in the rain. Are you kidding me? I mean, that's like some notebook stuff, right? Like oh, that's yeah. like mm. very much just perfect. And, yeah. and the hallmark, I, I can't believe they pulled it off. It was wonderful. I it. will suggest to you whenever you do actually kiss in the rain, though, it's like waterboarding. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Maybe sit a few plays out to be slinky. I don't I'm know. I'm sorry. You what? can 100% kiss in the rain. Easy. It's not hard. Without it being, well, I, how have you, what are Water you Water getting all in the face. It's very uncomfortable. Man. You're locking lips. There's nowhere to breathe. It's just miserable. Through your nose that's pointed down? No, I don't no, know no. What but you, the rain's getting wait, here. Are you it, kissing a what, giant? And, no. What are you doing happening? this? No, what are you what doing? Happening? Now, I will say, if you're Spider-Manning it, that's that, when it gets tricky. No, no, no. If it's a full Mary Jane Spider-Man, that, yeah, now you're waterboarding. How often are you hanging upside down kissing your wife? Yeah. You how often? In the rain. Good gosh, man. <laughs> it's waterboarding. He did it I don't kiss and He did it once. He almost drowned. Said never again. <laughs> so don't kiss and tell. Don't kiss and tell. Can you He starts kissing and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just out of shape. Maybe that was it. What ended up happening? What really happened? <laughs> Tuckered me out. <laughs> I was wheezing. Man, that is, you've had some hot takes, but Panda <laughs> saying you kissing in the rain is like waterboarding. It's uh, got to be at the top of the list. 2D slinky, it's not even close. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back here at Night Dollar. I think We're maybe the, pr the problem is is that you guys, when you kiss in the rain, don't put the washcloths up your nostrils. No, that's what. 
that's that's the problem. Well, that there. does make a lot more sense now that you say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's just like when you're kissing and it's not raining. You don't want you want no, to be you able to want breathe. No, out that nose. nothing obstructing. That's right. The yeah, nostrils. Yeah, yeah. That does make a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm glad we got torture in the mix, though. <laughs> Shimmy Christmas. Hey, let's get to the way what? Panda, you got many, buddy? Uh, not a lot. Uh, at one point, Rip is sawing a, a board. Uh, yeah. And he's really going to town on it. He, he gets nowhere. He gets uh, nowhere. Which is, is the dullest uh, uh, saw I've ever seen. Um, they are remarkably casual about Rip working for them within a day. And I just don't think I'm there quite. You don't think so? No, not after somebody's been living in my shed. I just, I just don't, I don't, th I don't think so. I'm not there. Um, at one not point, they want to carry uh, <laughs> the little boy's name is Harry. Henry, right? Henry, 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 Harry, Harry, whatever. Henry, Henry, just kind of go like this. Harry, it's Henry, it's Henry. <laughs> Henry. Uh, it gets like eight or nine, and they she asks if the the granddad can carry him to bed. Now I was over a hundred pounds. Yeah. at the age of eight or nine. Uh, <laughs> So maybe, Sick maybe brag. I'm just sitting there thinking. Carrying you to bed is like waterboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, guys. You're not wrong. I mean, I was a you big You were boy. over a hundo at eight? Yeah. No a, way. True story. I was eight years old. Hundo, How do you pounds. know that? Because I remember my parents got a scale and they they weighed me. <laughs> and I wonder if they got, now that I'm saying this out loud, I'm wondering if they got the scale because they were concerned. <laughs> but I, I was a hundred pounds. I remember that. I was in fourth grade and I was a hundred pounds. Wow. Just before or after you quit basketball? <laughs> before. Oh, oh man. No, I still had to no, try basketball no. at that point. I was kind of like Shaq. That's In I what way? Shaq. Well, because I was big for my age. Were you taller than the rest of the kids? I was I was I was taller than yeah. my friends. I See, was I wasn't boy. taller than kids in when I was fourth and now I'm six five, but like when I was in I, I, I was taller than all my friends. I was I was a tall boy. Tall boy. How many friends? Uh, well, I mean, there was Caleb. You're right. There was my friend Nathan. Oh, yeah, we know about Nathan. Yeah, yeah, Nathan. We know about Nathan. We know about Nathan. And then um, Stevie. He was my friend Stevie. Stevie. He, was, he was a good guy. Uh, I was taller than all those guys. Great. Great. Nathan yeah. and I might have been. He, Nathan was a year older than me, though. So mm. he, him and I were about to draw for the height at the time. I was still heavier than Nathan. Though. Sure. What are we doing? 100 pounds. <laughs> Um, he asked at one point uh, for a song that's something a little older during the dance scene. Yeah. Uh, and then they just play a more recent song, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. Uh, just great. Uh, older means just slow, I yes. think. Yeah. But it, it was still not, you know. Yeah. It wasn't a real boot. Boop. <laughs> it wasn't a real boot. <laughs> boop. Boop. It, it's bop. I was trying to say bop and it got hung up and I ended up saying boop. I was trying to say bop. It wasn't a real bop. Yeah. So waterboarding. <laughs> yeah. Are you good? I'm great. So uh, I feel like we're just ragging on Panda today, but can I do one more? Uh, <laughs> Rip uh, at one point waves to Harry, uh, and he waves like you like you clap. He's just kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's Panda. That's Panda over there. Um, can I ask you this? This is just a question that I had. What good are transparent boards unless you're filming through them? Yeah. Do they serve a purpose? I feel like they'd be yeah. harder to see looking at them. Am I wrong? No, I think that that would be the... No. Do they serve... Aside from filming through them, does anybody prefer a clear board, a transparent board, transparent board over a white board or a black board? I think it's just a look. Yeah. Yeah, it's an aesthetic choice. Right. Because wouldn't it be harder to clean too? I, I can imagine it's hard to do a lot of things. I don't know. Didn't Dr. But, House have one? Was oh, I, I know why you would maybe want one. What's that? Okay, so you have a scientist working on one side, scientists looking on the other side, and they want to make sure that they're kind of blinding up their well, work. They're looking through it, they're reading it backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know. 2D slinky. <laughs> I feel like the only time that it works and is aesthetically pleasing is if it's actually on a wall where it's like a, there's a. No, back no, 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 no. If you needed to see the work on the other side, that way, as you're writing on one side, but again, you're reading unless you're on the side where you turn and see the other board, you're going to be looking through a board. What you're saying is, is you're writing on this board and you're looking through it to see another right. board that is facing your way. That would be the way to do it, right? No, but you, you, but you would be able to read your own work probably backwards with math. 
because you can read it back. Does that make sense? No, I got you, buddy. Okay. You're killing it. Does that make sense? Like, what I'm saying is, like, if in, you're writing on one side, you had a series, In the very specific a scenario, series yes. series of boards lined up like dominoes, everyone writing on theirs would be able to see the next one over. Yes. Right, right. Unless but you're the I'm last not, guy. I, I, I understand that's a mirrored reflection. I understand. I get that. Okay. What I'm saying is, it. it's not... I. In this very, I could see where it would be complicated if you're seeing it backwards, but you would be, in fact, seeing it backwards. <laughs> right. But I think it would still be nice to be able to see your work. You can do your Even own backwards, backwards math. It's a bad right. day on the golf course. A right. good day anywhere else. That's right. Yeah. In this very specific scenario, I can see why it would be helpful. Sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly right. Dan? Um, I'm a little concerned about old Grandpa. Uh, okay, for what reason? One, he just decides to start eating without his family. Like, she's made this entire <laughs> meal. She's like, what are they up to? Oh, they found some stranger in the barn. I mean, these potatoes are going to get cold. So probably need to just go ahead and dig in. And then at the festival, he's like, I'll take Henry with us, with me. I'll just take old Henry with me. Uh, come on, kid. I see the hard cider stand right over there. <laughs> Is he taking the kid to drink hard cider with him? And then we find out he had one too many hard ciders. With the child. It's like, I shouldn't have had that last hard cider. It's a good thing you were watching your child, buddy. Your grandchild. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You know, that's not great. Maybe not. He also was very eager for his daughter. Here, I got it. Oh, go ahead. He, she, everybody's like, dude, you're letting your daughter hang out and spend time with this guy who thinks he's from the, you know, colonial revolutionary period. And he's like, I'll take interesting with a side of crazy over sane and boring any day. Yeah. For his daughter. My, listen, that is that is a hot, that is a five-sider deep take from him. Yeah, it is five-sider Yeah, side yeah, deep. he thinks he's from the Revolutionary War, but he's interesting. <laughs> I'll take him over a 10-year accountant from Vanderbilt who, you know, makes a living and provides for his family any day of the week because he's interesting. That is a <laughs> hot father-in-law take right there. Yeah. Scalding. Like, Lily brings home a guy with, like, the afro that Chris Rock zebra okay. character wears in uh, in uh, Madagascar three, yeah. you know, and is just like out here like clown suit on. Yeah, and you're like, what do you do for a living? And he's like, I don't know, bro. Live. You're like, you know what? He's interesting. Well, let me ask you a question. What's the passion like? Is there passion there? Is whose passion? Just, oh, it, 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 she's passion. so in love with him. He doesn't have a dime to his name. She pays for everything all the time. Every Is meal. he passionate, passionate about her? Yeah, absolutely. But she was dating a guy who they had passion, it seems, to, together and enjoyed each other's company. And he's on a career track, man. As a father of a daughter, I can't imagine. Yeah, no, a I mean, I'm not thrilled. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. not like right. I'm not sitting there like like thrilled about it. But, you know, I, 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 I want to meet him where he's at and where he's at. I mean, but he might. <laughs> I'll take interesting with a side of crazy. No, it's 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 <laughs> with, with a side. Terrible. It's a terrible. I'll it's take a ter interesting with a side. You know, when it comes to my daughter and dating men, I would much rather have someone that I think is intriguing, and he had, he is crazy, over someone that I think is sane, competent, but a little boring. <laughs> How much must uh, Grandpa want to defund the police to choose a crazy time traveler <laughs> That's right. over a, a Detective. successful police officer? Yeah. yeah. He's he's full. He, full he's full been more. at the cider. Yeah. He has been at the cider. <laughs> and lastly, to your point about this kid, I'm not sure he's human. Harry? He, yeah, mm -hmm. he, Henry, he does a weird wave, a weird run. And then he's been directed to cup his hands and yell to his mom, and he does this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's trapped in like a weird like a uh, glass case. Mom, help. That was weird. Weird bit. That's all I got. Mm. Um, what, the Hallmark? Let's do it. Okay. Dan Panda? Um, so I the thing I was unclear about was, was, was the drink somehow a component to the time travel. Does mm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, it, it made it sound like he drank wine. It, it made it seem less about the In lightning the and more about Irving the drink. story, isn't it about right. the drink? It was about the drink. Not the lightning. But that was, they flipped that at the end because it's not about the drink at all because the journal just travels. And so I guess I just want a little bit more clarity mm -hmm. on uh, what role the drink played in all of this. I think we all do, buddy. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I think I want to know if there's any other, you know, uh, wormholes. Uh, or is it just exclusive to this one hole in the in the in the valley of the woods mm. here in this specific place? I have to imagine there's more wormholes. I mean, there's as many oh, yeah. wormholes yeah. there as there are slinkies. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> two D ones. Are there any other ones in the town? Has this ever happened before in this universe? You just never know. Um, and that's it. What I wanted at the end of this movie would have been, I guess, too much of a betrayal of Washington Irving's story. Uh, for them to do, but I just want to know if they ever considered it. I wanted, you know, he says, like, my dad came back after, you know, just crazy and said mm -hmm. he'd been blah, blah, blah. I I was hoping that somehow he'd, like, and he just realizes his dad's not crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. my dad wasn't crazy. He was telling the truth. I was hoping that somehow he would come across his dad in present day. That would have been great. Like, his dad went back to the cave, got struck by lightning, and is there, and he gets to be like, I'm sorry. I feel like his dad clearly knows now that this is a time-traveling bunker. And I and I just wanted it so bad. And maybe that was kind of some some of my muted response to the movie is, is I just was like, this is a home-run ending yep. where dad is there, and it's like they kind of have this knowing look and can, and can like, exchange and embrace, and we can end the movie. And that would have been perfect to me. And yeah. so I just want to know if that was considered, if it was just thought of as maybe an ending at all. Fair enough. That's all I got. Uh, it's time for the Double Decker of the Week. It's part of the show we talk about somebody who has signed up for BringleJamPlus.com, Double Decker, um, and uh, painted as a deep dive. Google Plus, not that Google Plus. <laughs> Hillary Kovacs. Ooh. Yeah. Hillary Kovacs. Now, guys, when I mention Hillary, who, by the way, top, top shelf, notch. Top notch. five out of five stars, wow. do not lie. Uh, okay. And so, Hillary, one thing about Hillary. Now, when I mention this, it's going to sound kind of a little pedestrian, so to speak, because all she, she's an architect. She specializes. Yeah, big yeah, big yeah big uh, she specializes in, in arches. She builds arches, arches. everywhere. Okay. okay. Uh, and so she has been, uh, you know, going through a little bit of a time lately with the arches. What's wrong? She's been What's wrong with the well, arches? she's been building them, uh, and there's been a lot of competition going on with the arches lately. There's been a lot of other How people. How many building people are getting involved? Well, in this? the arch business is booming. I don't know if you've noticed. There's arches everywhere, Brandon. Okay. Are there? Yeah. I mean, think about all the arches that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't go through None. many at all. Well, there's bridges. That's an arch. Kind I don't of go. Arch I don't. Not go all bridges are arches. Most in Greenville are. No, no, no. But there's occasionally arches. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Lots of golden arches at McDonald's. Uh, there's right. a real archery competition out there. Ar Ar arch. Ar yeah, there are. There is definitely some archery going on there. Uh, but the competition's <laughs> been been getting intense there. So uh, what's the and point? So well, there's been some vandalism lately. Some I people, hate to the, say that. the different people fighting over the arches this is and stuff be good. like that. Like who? It. Yeah, I know it. Like who? Is there some sort of gang? Uh, no, but okay. she she does have some arch enemies. Okay, out there. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's her biggest arch enemy? Uh, Archie. Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> Good. Um, has, I thought I was so hope. Never mind. We'll talk about it later. Our, our, you know. All right. I think she's gonna be good though. She's got a good thing going. Oh no, her arch is top notch. Yeah. yeah. Really, uh, really bears up under the weight of the pressure. All right. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Chris Palaha. <laughs> until then, maybe the first. Oh, it's the Thursday also. Summer nights. Let's do this thing. Uh, we'll be back then. Until next time, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com.